What is good guys and girls of YouTube? My name is Justin Omoe and I'm here with the video to help y'all with your problems. Whether it be, hey, I got no more effects slots and you know, oh, I need some more effects. I want to add all these effects to something else, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is mainly for people who um, kept asking me the question on FL11 for my mastering video because I have 12 slots or no, my bad, 10 in FL12, but in eight, they have only eight slots. This is what you got to do. Now, let me go ahead and explain this in a example. Let's say, hey, I got this kick right here. All right, and I say, hey, I wanna put it in the slot where I have my effects. So here in FX6, uh, I have all my, you know, nice effects to make my sound sound great. Let me go ahead and move this down. So yeah, let's say I play this sound. So, damn, all these good effects. Hey, wait, I wanna add another effect. I, I just don't have any more space. This is what you have to do. In this case, you could route this slot into another slot. Bam, just like that. If you're using FL11, I could uh, pull up a picture real quick. Yeah, if you're using FL11, this is the icon right here to route. Look, route all the drum mixer track. Don't worry about that picture. But this button right here is the router, okay? And you'll have to click, like, say you're an insert one in this example. My bad. Say you're an insert one in example and you want to route it into route six. You highlight number one and then route it to six by clicking this little button here and then it'll show you a knob. So that's what you do for uh, routing in FL11. If I really have to make another video, I might just reinstall it on another computer just to show y'all and yeah. But yes, in FL12, all you have to do is click this little icon here, highlight your track, make sure, click, bam. And then what you have to do after that is turn it off of the master. The reason being, if I turn it off, is that when this goes into this insert and there, I'm clicking the insert, this goes into the master. If I were to keep this on, it would go into the master and this insert at the same time, and then this one would have gone to the master twice. So yeah, turn off the master for that. Bam, so once we do that, I could click it again. Notice our amazing waveform is going into insert seven. So yeah, that means you could add more effects. So let's say I want, um, I don't know, what, what effect should I use? Um, oh, I know this one. All right. So let's say we do this effect. We'll hear it. So notice how in this insert it has more of a, what you call it, a waveform. That's because the effect sound good Iser is used in it to have more, you know, of an effect. But yeah, let me go ahead and do a different effect because I know like, you know, let's be different a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Let's say I want an EQ2, bam. Let's say I want to cut out a lot of frequencies. So I'm gonna just go here to the low pass and then do that. There, you can hear a little bit of a difference just to show you. Notice how I have the effect in insert seven, although my sound is routed into six, but six is routed into seven and seven, eight, nine. No, but um, seven is getting the effects. And then from seven, it's going straight into the master. Cool, do you understand that a little bit? Hopefully, yes. If not, let me go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go into this loop right here that I made. Yeah, and it does that a lot. I'm gonna hit track, so it goes into insert. I'm gonna move this over to insert nine, just so you guys know, and I'll rename this beat. Cool. So let's say, hey, I wanna do mastering on this beat. Instead of going to the master insert, if you know you won't have enough uh, slots, just go into the beat insert, put the effects in the beat, and then it'll route into the mastering. Remember, this is only if you have one, um, one vocal, one actual wave file to master. If you have multiple files, like a whole drum set, you have to route it all into one insert. So let me go ahead and, I don't know, make a real quick example of that. Quick. 
Just an example. Okay, so yeah. Anyways, let's just say we have this and we want to put it all into one insert instead of having it all go to the master. Easily, easily just route them into another insert. Let's say this is my beat. I'm going to name it our, I already got one called beat. Let's just say all sounds, bam. What we'll have to do is route all the instrument sounds into the beat and take them off from the master. So if I were to hit play, all these sounds will be in here, but it won't go into the master. It's going to go into route 14, and then 14 is going to go into the master. So yeah. Notice how it is going in here and then into the master. If I were to take off the master, you won't hear it. Okay? So yeah. And then from there, you could put your mastering effects here. If you got no effects slots left, then you could do that in the master. So yeah, that's basically it. One more thing. Let's say you have um, all these sounds and you want them all to go into the same effect. That's what these little buttons over here, these little four uh, send tracks are for. So automatically, they will be routed all the way to zero. And the reason being is because we don't want any effects on it unless you send it over there. I made a video explaining sends and buses and all that. You could click the little I button. But yeah. Quick little example, let me go ahead and show you. I'm going to go in here, add a reverb, or let me do a compressor because these sounds are a little bit, you know, small. So yeah, uh, compressor first, let me do a compressor. Bam. So let's say I want the compressor, and uh, just guesstimating right now. That's a little much. Bam, bam, and hard R. All right. So yeah, let's say we take all these, these three right here. Um, since they are already routed into 14, I could easily go ahead and send this over here. Or um, matter of fact, no, scratch that. I'm going to go ahead and just put them all in here like this. All right. And because this send is going into the master, this is going to be like double loud. So brace your ears real quick. So yeah, you notice it sounds double. That's because these are sent to the... You know, this right here. So let me go ahead and just undo this. Pretend this never happened. Bam. All right, cool. And then I'll just go ahead and do the same thing here. These are routed into the master and they're routed into the send track. This is something you have to really take into consideration because there is no dry effect or, you know, dry wet effect on this. It will double the sound just like how you heard before. Just name this comp, compression. Cool. So once again... You're going to hear double. It's very loud. What you have to do is turn it off from the mastering if you want it to go straight into a compressor. So yeah, if it sounds like too much of a hassle, and don't worry, you'll have to do more like uh, working out with it. But yeah, let me go ahead and show you lastly if we want a delay instead. So I'm going to turn off the sends. And I'm going to put this into a reverb. My bad. Not delay. Reverb. So let's say reverb. Bam. Cool. So let's say I want the drum room preset. And I want it to be a little bit too wide. Or a little bit wide. I'm going to go ahead and send it into this. Reverb. Bam. I'm going to go ahead and send it. So just click here. Drag up. Go here. Click. Drag up. Go ahead. Click. Drag up. Uh, it depends. Varies within how much of the level you want to give in. Let's say the kick I want a lot, the hi-hats I want not all the way, and the snares, not too much because it's a heavy hitter. This is just me, you know, making up some examples. Remember what I said about the dry-wet thing? Notice the reverb does have a dry-wet knob. I could take off the dry and have these sounds go into the master and have only the effect go into here. So I'll show you what that is, all right? I'm going to hit play. Notice the reverb. If I want, I could reduce the reverb without killing off the actual sound. So here I go, I could just uh, uh, adjust the fader.
cool, right? That is exactly, you know, what it does right there. And yeah. So yeah, once again, that is how you send route channels to another insert. This is for like mastering if you have no effect slots left. And yeah, hopefully this video makes sense for y'all. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up the video if you liked it. Subscribe to your boy Justin Amoe if you want to see more videos like this. Hopefully it's not too confusing like this one. And yeah, routing is completely, you know, a signal flow thing. So it might boggle your brain unless you know about signal flow. By the way, I made a video about that. So go ahead and check that again in the eye over here. You'll see that video. So yeah, thank you for watching Justin Omoe. And yeah, peace.